Welcome to the Fearless English Podcast, where it's all about helping you confidently communicate with anyone without compromising who you are. Let's get started, Fearless Learner. Hello, Fearless Learners, and welcome back to Blackboard English. Today, I want to talk about makeup. So if you're going um, shopping for makeup, it can be very helpful to know common phrases and vocabulary that you might use. So in this lesson, we're going to learn useful phrases and words that you can use when you're buying makeup in English. Let's start with some basic phrases. When you first start, um, when you go into a shop, you might be looking for, let's say, foundation. So. I'm looking for a new foundation. So foundation is something you would put on your face to cover up um, certain marks uh, and make your skin even, okay? Now, there is something else that's called concealer, which is like for dark areas like under your eyes or dark spots that you might have. And this tends to be a smaller bottle. And foundation is a bit more liquidy. So I'm looking for a new foundation. So this is what you would ask the um, shop assistant um, so that they can help you find the foundation. So the next thing is, do you have any eyeshadow in this color? So let's say you find eyeshadow that you really like. You could say to them, do you have any eyeshadow in this color? And they will take you to the place where you like they either look in the cupboards or they'll look behind the counter or in the back um, where all of the, I guess, like the stock is. And they'll give you the one you're looking for. So the next um, sentence I want you to know is I'm interested in trying a new lipstick. I'm interested in trying a new lipstick. Right. So next, let's talk about asking for help. Let's say you want to choose a product or find something in the store. You might say something like, can you help me find the mascara section? Can you help me find the mascara section? Can you help me find the mascara section? So then the person will take you to the area in the shop where you can find mascara, right? Now, let's say that you need help finding something, um, you know, specific. You need someone to help you um, find the right color for your skin tone. So, for example, if I'm looking for a specific foundation, I would say, I'm not sure what shade of foundation I need. Can you help me? I'm not sure what foundation I need, or I'm not sure what shade of foundation, sorry, I need, can you help me? I'm not sure what shade of foundation I need. Can you help me? So shade is basically the tone, the color um, that matches your skin tone, right? Now, let's look at another sentence. So I'm looking for waterproof eyeliner. Do you have any recommendations? So waterproof would be something that if you washed your face, it wouldn't smudge, it wouldn't run, it wouldn't move around your face. So waterproof. So you could say waterproof mascara or waterproof eyeliner. Um, and do you have any recommendations is which one do you think is best for me to use? Right. So when you're ready to pay, you might use some of these phrases like, can I pay with a credit card or... Do you have any sales or discounts um, to just ask about what products are being discounted or are, are there any products that are, you know, have a reduced amount or a reduced price? Um, or if you want to ask about loyalty cards. So if you buy three or four things, like you get stamps sometimes or sometimes they have a an online app. So you can ask, can I get a loyalty program card? So a loyalty card is when, you know, like I said before, it's when you buy a lot of things, sometimes they'll give you a gift the fifth time you buy something, for example. 
They do this in coffee shops. So you can ask the same question in a coffee shop. Finally, when you're leaving the store, you might say, thank you for your help or thanks for your help. I'll definitely be back. Or um, can I get a bag for my makeup? And they will ask you, would you like a bag? And you can say, yes, I'd like a bag. I'd like a bag with my makeup. Or if they don't offer it, you can say, can I get a bag for my makeup? Okay. So by practicing all these phrases of vocabulary, like you will start to feel confident and comfortable when you're buying makeup. So I want you to go through it and try and practice as much as you can. And in no time, you'll be very confident speaking when you are in a store. Thank you so much, fearless learner. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. If you enjoyed today's lesson, then you'll love our speaking club, where we take what we learn in these lessons and put it into action. You'll get to meet other women and practice speaking English every week for an hour. All you have to do is go to www.blackboardenglish.com forward slash cup. I'll say that again, www.blackboardenglish.com forward slash cup. Let's work together to help you become a confident English speaker. See you in class.